going on, family? You are tuning in to Real Ass Real Radio 104.1, your nightcap of comedy. I am Ken Miller in the big chair tonight. I'm joining the virtual studio with James John, Miguel Colon Jr., and from the law office of Kaufman and Lynn and the Under Oath Podcast, we got Jeff Kaufman. But, dog, mm. I say, James, dog, we dog. got a special guest on the live with us. Yes, we do. Saturday Night Live, <laughs> white famous. This dude done been on The Simpsons. He done been on Family <laughs> Guy. He'll be at the Orlando Improv this weekend, November 18th and 19th. We got our dog, Jay Farrow, in the building. What up, Jay? Wait. What's, what's, what's happening, go. Captain? What's, what's going go. on? Man, sure, right? thank you so much for hanging out with us. Jay, Jay, we, we start this every... The, this is how we start the show is we're comic book guys. We love comic book movies. Yo. We're oh, comic hell forever. Yeah. Um, we need to know the origin story, brother. How long have you been doing comedy and when did you start? Uh, man, I started doing comedy, man, when I was back in 2003. And um, it mm-hmm. started in Virginia, man. And I was... Uh, yeah, I was 16 years old, 16 wow. years old doing it. So uh, wow. I've been doing it. Damn, my good God. You just made me realize how long I've been doing comedy. Good God, bro. <laughs> For 19 years. Good God. God bless, God bless man. Lord, Lord have mercy. That's a, yeah, that is a blessing. That's a blessing, mm-hmm. man. And mm-hmm. I first started doing voices when I was uh, six years old, dude. So, you know, I've been, uh, I've been at this for a minute. It's yeah. about that time. It's about that time. Dude, mm. what's crazy is I, I, my introduction to you was YouTube. Um, you yeah. just sit in like a little, or a little chair, like a little, a little chair and you would do your voices. That was my introduction to you. How did you what like what 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 got you into doing like impressions? Because because for comedians, you know, <laughs> most of us do stand up. We don't do voices, so voices is listen, unique. What got listen, you into voices? But we wish we could. I wish I could. I <laughs> we could. Wish the only we thing could. I could do is Jamaican accent. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> listen, first off. First off, man, that chair, that wasn't a little chair. That was a big chair. What you talking okay. about? That was a big <laughs> chair. What you talking about? Now, okay. So, uh, <laughs> it's so funny. Black folks, we so funny because we be explaining stuff. We be explaining stuff. We be like, oh, yeah, how you doing with your little job? You be like, listen, yo, that ain't, I just got to see your position. That's a that's a big job, yo. <laughs> yeah, you doing good at your little job. It's your little thing. Your little thing. I just, you just don't want to hear that in the bedroom. You be like, God, knock you in your forehead. Just say it again. I push this. I hit you in the forehead with this pillar because that's all I can do. Yeah. yeah. And that's pushing <laughs> it now. Okay, so, nah, man, but it did start on YouTube, man. It was uh, those YouTube days. I actually, I remember the first clip that went uh, viral, viral up there. And that was that, um, it was this bit I did about Cameron and Dipset. Yeah, that's wow. what I did. And it was, uh, I used to talk about them nursery rhymes. I said, all Cameron and Dipset do is nursery rhyme. Two feet, two feet, goofy, goofy, blue feet, blue feet. <laughs> Yo, I got potato chips with some Frito chips. I put some Lay's in it to make that party mix. <laughs> I got to <laughs> I used to. I you know a, what? You know what, Jay? Hey, uh, Jay, they would have hey. never lost to the locks if they had you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should have been the verses. Hey, you Cam should have called me. Cam, we follow each other. Look, I'm such a, I'm such a fan. We follow each other. I should have hit him up and be like, "Yo, Cam, Cam, if you want to win your verses, B against Jay to B, you need to call me in, B, like for real, B, because you know you ain't gonna be able to beat. <laughs> you know, you can't beat that, B. You ain't gonna be able to beat that when he start coughing, B. You're gonna need all of Harlem and Virginia, B. Seven five seven. <laughs> you're gonna need all of us, B. All the support you can get B because the locks are dangerous B they deadly B they deadly Mira forget Jim Jones come in yo capo status capo you do need him <laughs> oh my I like god they, yeah I like Dude, so man it just flows for you it's like Bro. it's like a conversation for you that's so dope yeah. that you can just uh. it's just conversational for you it's crazy too because there's no visual so I was like why is Jim Jones inter- interrupting him <laughs> <laughs> did, did, let J. Farrell talk, Jim. I get it. Look, <laughs> look, dipset the diggy dang. You know I had Joel oh, wow. Santana come through. Oh, wow. <laughs> I had Joel's come through on a bit, and Joel's would speak a little bit. And Joel's would be like, jump, humpty dumpty, shot on the wall, jump, humpty dumpty, damn, had a great fall. Mm. All the king's horses in, all the king's men. Hey. And put Humpty back there. <laughs> Jay, Jay, let me ask you: Have you ever perfected a voice of someone, and then they kind of fell off, and you're like, "Damn, 
Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I think if I do that, I'll get unfollowed by so many folks on Instagram. I don't understandable, wanna... <laughs> understandable. <laughs> but, but I'm telling you, there are some old school. There, there just are some old school folks that I do like. You would never think that I had like a game impression or something like that because I don't really do that one a lot. Like, yeah, you Markesh, Markesh, Punkesh, with the game, I'm trying not to curse. <laughs> I'm trying not to curse, but you know, 50 keep on pushing me. When I see him, I'm going to see him. I'm going to see that nigga. When I see that nigga, I'm going to see that nigga. (laughs) Hey, look, hey, gang, gang, you need to chill out. Hey, look, I just say you need to chill because, like, when it all comes down to it, Yes. It's like this. It's like this. You're not gonna be a bit like you're not gonna be somebody who is up up next to be a billionaire, which is me. I told you I was gonna take <laughs> over television. I, said, I, I I told everybody like a decade ago I was gonna take over television. I did that. Game. You said you were gonna ruin me. Where am I? I'm still here. <laughs> Yo, whenever you do fifty, you can tell fifty. Whenever someone does fifty, they do it right, like Jay just did. It sounds like he's smiling and swishing a bullet around in his mouth. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, if you listening, yeah. man, we got Jay Farrell on. Jay Farrell will be at the Orlando Improv November 18th and 19th sure. this weekend. Get your tickets. Um, how did this SNL thing come about for you? Uh well, you know, man, I um can you say it wrong? How'd that little SNL thing uh, <laughs> come out for you, Jay? <laughs> True that. True that. Well, little TV show that world famous. Little, yeah. That little that little sketch show that yeah. I was on for yeah, six yeah, years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, man, so I had an agent back in uh, 2009. It was Josh Pearl for ICM, and we put together a, a tape and sent it to them. And... Um, then uh, a year later, man, they called me in there to uh, to audition to test, and I ended up getting it. And uh, uh, from 2010, it was uh, uh, fall 2010. It was just it was on. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, it was nice, uh, what, nice. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. do you do you prefer a sketch of a stand up? You know what, man? I you know I enjoy any way I can make somebody laugh, man. It's, it you know, so I don't really have a favorite. If I can, if I can make you forget about your problems or whatever you're going through, then I feel like I've done my job. And um, I en- I mean I enjoy sketch. I enjoy stand up. Stand up is my my first thing that I started with though. So I definitely do enjoy that. Um, but I can't say I enjoy it more than I enjoy sketch because when I'm in there with um, other players, you know, it's just fun to get to play off of other people. And then you'll see the the abundance of talent with other folks as well, which really um, which really will blow you away when you when you're a fan of comedy and you're a fan of talent as well. Mm. Putting those two together, you, you have no problem watching somebody else shine or uh kill it or whatever because you know you're just getting joy from the craft of being done correctly you know talk about it nah, let nah, me nah, ask nah. a question real quick jeff, jeff has something jeff you have something yeah jay you you do people so well now the problem yeah, yeah. i always wonder if anybody goes i don't like that he's doing me i mean yeah. has anybody ever said to you hey you know i know you do me so well but i'm ta- yo the only person the only person i would i would say who had a problem with it like really that hit me up on it was Kanye and he didn't even have a problem. He just wanted me to know the backstory of his life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just called you up. He yeah. just called you up. So he amazing. Just called me. So he just amazing. Called me. He just, yeah, that's that's all he did. Just for dude, that's that's exactly what it was, bro. He was just, you know, um, you know, very complimentary of, you know, all of the things that you know, he had going on and, um, you know, fam, it's, it's okay because like when, you know, people don't understand you, bro, that's when they call you crazy, bro. When they don't understand you, bro. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, <it's, laughs> hey, man. So, hey, that was man. a, that was a oh. pretty cool conversation we had there. Oh, uh, hey, I got another one. I got another one, man. Cause you've yeah. done so many. So many. Yeah. Denzel is gonna be my favorite. Who's your favorite to do? Favorite impression? If Denzel is my favorite. If Denzel and Will Smith are my two favorite that you do. You know what, man? It's like I don't. I do. Do I? Do I have a? A favorite one I can pick out. There's so many that um there's so many that people enjoy. You know which one I used to fall into the most? It was probably Heath Ledger's Joker. I used to fall into that so what? much. Wow. Like, yeah, I, I man. I've heard that one. What? You've never heard me do the Joker? Wow. <laughs> well, you know, I would just start talking like this, and then they'd follow. And you know, Damn. I'm just like a 
I'm like, I'm, I'm not a lunatic. I'm just, I'm a Kanye West, you know? You don't understand. <laughs> you know? They just, they just assume what they assume. And when they do that, they cut themselves off from the essential package. Like, for instance, just because I have a Samsung doesn't mean I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, oh, we, wait, we big kid, wait, big kid. We hey, got like I have a Samsung, up. and it does mean that I'm broke. So I just <laughs> have to Listen, hey. uh, go ahead, Jay. Go ahead, bro. Just because, just because I got green bubbles, a lot of ladies out here are blocking their blessings, man. <laughs> a lot of ladies are blocking their blessings because just because I got green bubbles doesn't mean yeah. I can provide. I don't got, yeah. I got green bubbles yet. You didn't have the same heels on for seven months straight because you can't find <laughs> nobody. Yeah. You can't find nobody to fund you. Why? Because you're a thought and you're walking everywhere. Daddy, and you have those same. Friends. You know what? We could go off. We could go off. We could go off. But ain't no <laughs> point. Listen, like I said, last time I checked my bank account, I was great. And I've had Ooh. a Samsung for over a decade. So take Talk that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We got like three minutes left. And in and, and the, and the impression field is yeah. you, it's Aries, it's Ephion, it's Godfrey. Like, do yeah. you guys battle at that? Or are you just like, hey, we all just great at this? I mean, I, I personally, uh, I personally, I don't, I mean, I don't battle. I mean, we've, we've got on each other's lives and like done yeah, things I've together. Watched, I've watched. Um, yeah. And I think all of us did that with, I think, uh, with Aries too, uh, a little bit. Um, we did that with him during the pandemic. So it's mm -hmm. not like a, I could care less if somebody likes somebody's impression is but there's more than somebody's impression. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, Jay Farrell has ears so I can listen. <laughs> and, uh, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. do know what I do. I know what I do. So I, I, I'll tell you like this, man, I'll say like this, man, you know what I mean? And I love my brothers. I love my brothers to death. But what did Jay-Z say? Yo, it's not even fair. It, it wouldn't even be fair for, you know, me to even hop in there and, and do a, a versus with anybody. It wouldn't be fair to those folks nope. because, yeah, you know, like, I, I literally, you know, I do this, you know, like, yeah, I mean, people do it too, but, yo, I was trained. Like, God was like, yo, let there be impressions. They were like, oh, oh Pharaoh, you know, so <laughs> just, yeah. Hey, but, you know, no, no, but, but seriously, though, everybody, I have to say this, Cause you know, everybody is, everybody is great. You know, I ain't got nothing to, you know, I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm over, you know, oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember, oh. I remember the, 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 the Jay-Z Beyonce skit where you did was blue Ivy introducing her to the world. Yeah, That's yeah. still one of the dopest man with Prince just hiding out in the corner the whole time. Yeah. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Jay, we got a minute nah. left, man. Before I let you go, I have to tell you that, um, the 10, hey, hold, the, hold, the ten... Up. Oh, go ahead. hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because you know what? You said you got 15, but I'm saying, you say, you look, you get an extra minute. You get okay. an extra minute. Right. For you, yes. Listen, okay. for me, okay. I just got to, I got to make this plain and simple. I am not, like I said, I am not this and my brothers. Everybody is great. You understand me? Everybody's yes, great. Man. That's yes, all I'm saying. Okay. Yes, sir. As long yes, sir. as I'm saying that. I love no, that. No, we I, know I, that. We know that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm making sure because I ain't want to come off any type of way because no, I'm not trying to. No. We've all. had Aries on the show. He was dope, man. And I just My know God. you guys all got the voices, man. So I just wanted My you God. guys to have a bad. I just had to say that um, Kristen and Jay Tanner told me to tell you what's up. Hey, yeah, I, and then yeah, we I, had I, sex. Yeah, yep. yeah, one of the best. We're going to have them on too, man. We got to get yeah. you out here, man. We got you at the Orlando Improv, November 18th and 19th. Oh, yeah. I know you're super famous, man, but go ahead and tell these cats where they can follow you at, brother. Hey, miss, man, just go to jferrellworld.com for, um, for all of my tour updates. And you can also follow me on Instagram. You can also follow me on Twitter. Um, I don't tweet like Elon Musk, so you'll be fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can find me on Facebook, Real. Listen, on TikTok, you can go up there, at jferro. You can find me, man. I'm Listen, just type it in. I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm, I'm there. My, my man. Man, we appreciate you so much for kicking it with us. Jay yeah, Ferro, Orlando. No. Improv November 18th and 19th. Go get your tickets. He got he has three shows. Go check him out. You can see brother funny man. Jay, we're gonna be there Friday to come support and hang out with you, man. Thank you no so way. much for getting with Real Ass. This is Real Ass. I'm Ken Miller. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Yeah.
going on, family? You're tuning in to Real Last Real Radio 104.1, your nightcap of comedy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And shout out to Jay Farrow, man, for an amazing interview. True. Dude just went voice to voice. <clears throat> to, dude, amazing, man. Amazing. Bro, he just did the whole 90s hip hop Bro, just, just, <laughs> I don't think you yeah. understand what that means. Hey, by the way, please go follow us Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Shout out to the cats on YouTube. We've been trying to reach 100 subscribers. We had like 94. We need six more. <laughs> Go, go follow the damn YouTube page, bitches. Hey, let me text, let me text my mama real quick here. Hold Jesus. on. Jesus. Georgia Virtual Studio with James John, Miguel Colon Jr. And from the law offices of Kaufman and Lynn, able to practice law in 42 states and nine countries and seven planets, Jeff Kaufman. <laughs> we just excited that Miguel is here. Yeah. We, I was... <laughs> we're excited to see Miguel, y'all. I haven't seen y'all on a on 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 the Monday Tuesday show to, or Tuesday Wednesday sh- or Thursday. I don't know what show. Don't even know the show. No, I don't even know the show anymore. He don't even know we're on. I don't even know. He was on a milk carton. It was like dude, October, was like, man. Hey, look, monsters? October. I'm, I'm for y'all. Uh, that's my busy one, man, and it it yeah. it beat me up. So I'm glad to be here with you guys, bro. Man. I gotta yeah. ask you something, man. Um, yeah. how how pops doing he didn't get to do the party bro he, he yeah i actually went over for suicide watch on uh, uh last week for, for, He's yeah. Listening, yeah. Man, it, for you know uh, miguel father does the marine corps birthday is usually on veterans day or like a day before it's veterans the day before day. november 10th the, the marine so, corps birthday day we yeah. didn't get to do it this year because that bitch nicole came through and ruined mm. our ruined our week he's doing it now mm. on november 18th so i'm gonna swing by before we go see jay farrell i'm gonna swing by over there and i'm gonna catch jay on the on the late show okay yeah okay but, uh, i'm early okay. showing it okay. yeah cool. where, and where he doing where is he doing vfw and apopka yeah yeah they chose not they, it was still going to be open and they chose not to do it because he one of his big thing was he didn't he didn't know how the storm was going to hit and he didn't want the staff being obligated yeah. to come to something and they got his you know it was mm-hmm. bad so I, I was happy for him he was cool he was cool but he was he was sad but he was cool so oh, i came man. over and kicked it I came over and kicked it had a good time every well, time i saw him walk away i was just like hey where you going <laughs> where you going? Yeah, yeah. Where you going? I was all the guns in this house. Why, I was like, where, where that other gun? All in my hands. Let me just see the other one real quick. Why you carrying a trumpet and an American flag? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We're playing taps already. I'm like, where that, where that, where that chair? Where that extension cord? What's going oh, on here? Man. Dude. Hey, first off, before I forget, man, happy Veterans Day to both you and Jeff, man. That's I know right, I told man. you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, dude. I, I'm going to be real with you, man. I, I thought I was going to die in the VFW. That's what's okay. up. I remember, yeah. Okay, a lot man. of people don't know what happened. I don't know if you talked about it, Ken, but... Uh, no, no, we were off. Um, I, yeah. I do, you know, I've been having these chest pains and shortness of breath and art and mm. numb, numbness arm, like, for, yeah. for a month plus. For now. a minute. I go to another hospital. I ain't gonna say the name because I, I gotta learn how to not call people out on the radio. Yeah. Um, not gonna say their name. Yeah. I was there nine hours. They walked in, was like, You didn't get you didn't get your IV? I was like, Bro, you didn't get the meds? I was like, No, the doctor. She was like, I'm so sorry. We've been so busy today. Well, we ain't find nothing, so you you can go home if you get on out of here. Just get on out. You good. Wow. I was That'll like, That'll be three thousand dollars. Bro, bro. <laughs> Bro, hey Jeff, the crazy thing is I had reached my um out of pocket max, so I had to pay nothing, so I was good. So I'm in Stewart, Florida at a VFW, Miguel, and I'm having one of the best shows I've had this year. It was nice. to the point where I'm like, I'm having chest pains and everything. It was the night I even bought lottery tickets when the lottery was at the two billy. Yeah. Mm. I was like, if I die, I killed, but I'm gonna die at the VFW. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, this, not this, because I've always wanted to die as a cootie cat. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. most men, like, hey, hey, I want to die as a cootie cat, like, yeah. purple, like, uh, color purple. I, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Jeff. Bro, he did. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about, I was thinking about Malcolm X. Remember when yeah. the one dude died on top of the girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I wanted yeah, to be. Yeah. So I'm hurting, and there's a, there's a um, VA hospital right near the club. I said, man, I'm going to go home. I said, I'm going to drive straight home. So I called the 800 number because I wasn't registered with them yet. And the lady said, you're a veteran. You can go to the VA. don't matter. Man, I drive an hour and f- two hours and 15 minutes straight to the VA in Lake Nona. Wow. I'm talking about chest racing. <clears throat> I, dude, this is a crazy thing, James. Bro, I stopped, you. I stopped and got Taco Bell. I said, this is my <laughs> flying meal. 
If I'm going to die, let me go. So your me. chest is racing, let me go and you're like, oh, I'm dying. But let I'm also kind of hungry. Let's get <laughs> the worst loop fast loop food option available. Yo, and Bro. that's only because McDonald's line was around the, co- was the corner. I McRib and go, and go out with a the McRib. McRib. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I get to the VA hospital. It's 11 o'clock at night. I check in. The lady, she doesn't know. They don't have, they find all my info. They say, oh, you know, you got the percentage where you get the VA benefits, blah, blah, blah. They check me in, EKG good. They say, like, hey, look, you got to get the, the um, um, what's the test when they send the, the stress test? You got to do the stress oh, yeah. test. And it's not the, the treadmill anymore. They they no. they put something in your body to get your heart to beat. To, they just open the door, bears behind the door. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to stay in the hospital at the VA for two days. Two days in the oh. VA? With daylight savings. So, uh, two, just so wait, man. for 49 hours, bro. That's funny. Man, but when I tell you, man, shout out to Lake Known the VA, man. They took care of my black ass, bro. Mm. Only thing is, it's 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 military because I had a roommate, yeah, two roommates, yeah. bro, and they snored. I ain't getting no sleep. Wow. They snore all night, but all my tests came back negative. They really think it's the acid reflux. So I gotta go to see a GI doctor. So yep. I'm not supposed to be drinking or smoking cigarettes. Or having Taco anything. Bell while having a heart or attack. Taco Bell while having a heart attack. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I, so, well, can I say real quick? And I know it's crazy. You you having a heart attack? Like you think you dying? Yeah. Yo. But you go to Taco Bell. But I'm gonna tell you, the fat kid in me respects you more now. Bro, come on. I'm like, bro, if the I'm fat kid in me. Also, yeah. too, if you know, if you go into the ER, you ain't gonna get no good food. Nope. Bro, they had me on a no salt diet. Ooh. Jesus. Oh, they let white people cook for you. Bro, yeah. <laughs> it was all Jeff Coffee food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My wife Linda made some potato salad for you. <laughs> Yo, the nurse hey, just I'm shaking like, her head hey, looking at you. Hey, Miguel, <laughs> Jeff Coffee brought me food. I said, what you, how you know I was here? <laughs> <laughs> it, let, let, let me hold, hold on one second. I want you to know something right now. If you can go, I'm not making any changes in my life. Yeah. yeah. You got really? three fat bastards here, and you're the one who has a heart <laughs> issue? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, Ken. That's first of all, you outlive your skinny yeah. ass. Yeah. That's Yo, you're just you whining, Ken, because God every morning, every other morning, I got to jumpstart my heart. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. come on. Like come man. on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to get hey. the rhythm right. <laughs> hey, Jeff, it's funny you say that, man. I was in... um. Norfolk, Nebraska at a comedy festival playing basketball. Mm-hmm. I was oh, the wow, only in-shape comedian and I tore my Achilles tendon. <laughs> you did. I was the only one in shape. Everybody you fat, See? big comics, and I'm the one guy hurt. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if I go out before you three fat motherfuckers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're going. You going out. I would oh, be oh, mad. I, oh, I'm just upset we all didn't get to visit you at the hospital, sit around your bed and take a selfie. That yeah. yeah. That's the one. True. Oh. You know? <laughs> I couldn't even let y'all in. I I had the same clothes on for two days. Couldn't change clothes. Oh, wow. Um, but, dude, the thing I learned about the hospital, if you've ever been in the ER and had to stay overnight, I told my friend, it's like a restaurant. You know how you eating and the waitress always comes over with when you got food in your mouth? Yep. To ask you how you doing? Yep. When you fall asleep, I swear to God, that's when the nurse always walks in. Like, yeah. hey, gotta check your vitals. Like, I just fell asleep. Yep. <laughs> I just yep. fell asleep, yo. Hey, gotta check I your colon. I just cold fell one. asleep. But shout out to Lake Nona, man. They they mm-hmm. took care of the kid. And they told me I gotta start working out getting in better shape. And I agree with them. Because <laughs> look here, bro. I, I mean, I'm skinny. I am skinny, Jeff. I'm skinny. But I'm not in shape shape. I, I look I was, like I ate two of you. Who yo, are we yo, getting here, yeah, you know? Yeah, and that's true. Because I've seen you, Jeff. If you ain't seen yes. Jeff, Jeff got a fat ass. Yeah. Oh, Jeff, Jeff, yo, got Jeff got Jeff juice got in that poop. He got but, juice in that poop. But, but I ain't oh, camped Jeff out at Lake Nona. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff thick up, bro. <laughs> Jeff thick, bro. Oh, Jeff and yeah. Jay show with all that ass and them cowboy boots. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> like like two hams in a pillowcase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Nat Bay Mills said two hams fighting over an onion ring. <laughs> 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 But the reason uh, I, I, I'm not going to be on the next show, man, because I already I, I just took some medication. I can't believe I'm still going. Man, I was working on the yard today after the hurricane. I haven't had a chance to because it's, the weather's just been bad and also been back on the road. Yeah. Bro, James, I got to raking. I don't pull a sun. I can't even turn my head to the left. I already know. Ken. I was just raking the yard. Damn, <laughs> bro. Because you old. 
That's what happened. Oh, bro. What's, she, what, I, what's one of you guys' most embarrassing injuries? I'll tell you one of mine. I okay. pulled my arm playing darts. <laughs> like, wow. Elbow, elbow was just shot. I was like, oh, we're playing cricket. And right after I released, I was like, what is that pain? And my <laughs> elbow was just swollen up for like a mm-hmm. day playing mm-hmm. darts. Yep. I told, I, uh, I told you what my best worst one was, and I told you on stage. I was in the middle of you know taking care yeah. of a little business, and my left butt cheek seized up. <laughs> yeah. was, We've I, all had that. I yeah. was like, I he's to, like, I what's my name? Oh, girl, 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 girl. I, I got was, a Charlie Hush. I was like, I got a timeout. I, I told us I was walking out in front of the bed like a naked Teletubby <laughs> trying to walk it off. Tag yeah, somebody else in. You a kid. Yeah. Yeah, no. Bro, I once sprained my ankle walking. Hey. <laughs> just walking walking yeah level mm. ground good shoes mm. with arch yep. support yep yeah that was all we're in new balance <laughs> dude i i've had uh, the sex charlie horse yeah that's what yeah. Yeah, I've, had, yeah. the, I've had like i got oh i'm many i'm many you like mm. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, you it's try bad. To work it off without telling her either. You, yeah. can't, you can't. You can't do it. You got to get you up. Make this noise come out of your, like you're being Donald Duck through your teeth. You know, yeah. Figure that out. That's no good, dude. I dude. I remember one time I was in the military. I think I was 20, 21 years old. We had clubbed all night. Came home. Me and this girl I was dating was getting. It. I, mm. I fell right asleep in it. Yeah. <laughs> Ken, bro. Woke bro. Up, woke up. We both sleep. Yeah, them still on and everything. Funny. <laughs> oh, we both sleep. I was like the next morning, like, yo, she's like, boy, I was tired too. I wasn't even mad at you. That is yeah. so <laughs> she was like, funny. thank God, bro. Funny thing about that, Ken, condom doesn't have an expiration date when you open it. You could keep going, keep going, yeah. B. Yeah, bro. The fact that it stayed on. Cause you bro. know it, it, it shrinks up. Yeah, it, it goes it away. It's be, off. I woke it becomes, up. It was still there. Become yeah. one of the little World War II British hats. <laughs> <laughs> the dope like boy helmet. It looks like a barista at Starbucks. Yeah, Lieutenant a... Walters Dickens reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Point me to the trench. You ever, you, ever watch war, you ever watch war movies and you and you watch the British and you're like, they just don't even still seem they're at war. They're like drinking tea, like, oh, this is a hellish one, Carl. And then you watch like American <laughs> war movies and the dude smoking a joint. He's like, we ain't never getting out of Nam, baby. <laughs> like, they're always still so proper, yeah. like, oh, it's, it is it is break time, you know? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, just take a moment, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but yeah, the, your boy, your boy is hurting, hurting, hurting today, man. So Damn, man. after, after Only the you. show, man, you guys can can have it and take over, man, and, and enjoy the Thursday night show. But with that being said, we got to go to commercial break because we got to pay some bills, even though Jeff Coffin pays all our bills. We'll be right back. Real Labs, Real Radio, one hundred four point one. Uh, family, we are back. Real Laughs, Real Radio, 104.1, your nightcap of comedy. My name is Ken Miller. I'm in the big chair tonight. Um, guys, remember, please go out to Instagram, follow us, Facebook, follow us, Twitter, follow us. Please go to YouTube. I done mm. uploaded all these damn videos. Take mm-hmm. y'all ass over and subscribe mm-hmm. to the YouTube. Let us be trying to hit 100 by the end of this week. I've been pushing 100 for two weeks, and now we have like 94. So make sure you, you do do that, man. Got James John, Miguel Colon Jr. in from the law offices of Coffin and Lynn and the Under Oath podcast, Jeff Coffin. Jeff, we were on the break talking about who you got coming up interviewing. Who you about to talk to, man? Oh, man, it has been I, it's been raining. It's been raining for me. It's been so good. There you go. I got the last one. I interviewed John Snyder from Dukes of Hazard last week. That big, was fun. Big Smallville. deal. Especially yeah. for us geeks. That's a big deal. Dukes of yeah, Hazard, that, Smallville, all that good that stuff. That was really yeah. good. And yeah. uh, Frank, I I did Frankie Fazan from uh, The Wire. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's on he's on Feds right now. He's on Rookie yeah. Feds. He's done mm-hmm. everything. I mean, coming to America. It was yeah. I mean, this dude has been the everywhere. Rent's and due. And yeah. I was, yeah, exactly. He was great was on like, The Wire though, like, too, man. Yeah, tomorrow I got Topher Grace. Oh, get and, out of here. Hey. Yeah. I got Dang. Topher and the original got, Venom. Yeah. Yeah, it, and he's he's doing a show now called uh, America Econ- Family Economics, something like that. Yeah, he, the guy, yeah, yeah, Jimmy, yeah. Family, a guy, Jimmy, home, home started, economics, home, yeah. home economics. Yeah, the guy he's on the show is called. His name is Jimmy, and I think Jimmy got to start on Vine and blew up, and now he has his own series. 
Yeah, so that was good. And then I following up with that, I have the guy from uh, uh, Fix It, you know, from uh, what's it called? Um, God, the 30 Rock. He also did Fix It Freddy on uh, Wreck It Ralph. I don't know that. 30, he was I the know boys. 30 Rock. Oh, yeah, the young guy, the young um, 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 he, Usher kind of guy. He played Kenneth Rock. on 30 Rock? Yes, Kenneth, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forget his name. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been, it's been really fun being able to do that. I mean, we had, uh, you know, Merle from uh God, um, Impractical Jokers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure we've, did, we've man. Been loaded up. It's been a lot you of fun, it, bro. To do this. Man. Yeah, yeah, All man. Right. I had I looked up Frankie Face. Yo, Frankie Face. That's the he was. He's in... a Commissioner Burrell in The Wire. Yeah. Yep, but yep. I also know him, you know, from like Chris Rock movies. Like, yeah, I know him yeah, like yeah. Down to Earth. He yeah, has been yeah. on everything, man. He he's been with you know. You see the people he's been. He's was on every Hannibal movie. Yeah, you know. I mean, I mean if you look at him, he's yeah. been in the game since 1980 was his first movie. Um, wow. Television, 1974. Dude was in All My Children, bro. He yeah, he was mm. in a lot. I didn't watch The Wire, so that, that was new to me. Yeah, I, I love The Wire. He you was should great. never tell people incredible. that. Yeah, I tell incredible. everybody that I don't watch. I ain't watched The Wire, bro. What they gonna do? They know where I'm at. They know where Take I live, baby. You know, wow. They know. They know my office. Okay, is give everybody Yola. Give give. <laughs> <laughs> they want to come it. see me. Y'all know I'm at Lake Yola, bro. Here top you go. Flow, top flow penthouse. Come see me, big spider. <laughs> big Spider Man be behind me, bro. There you go, bro. Uh -huh. There you go. Go. My uh -huh. butler's name is Jeff. So when you see him, put one in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you'll find me. <laughs> yeah. Come on through, cool. Come on through, man. Hey, yeah, hey. That's funny. But that's dope, man. That's dope, Jeff. So, uh, guys, make sure you go check out the Under Oath podcast. It streams on um iHeart as well, right? It streams everywhere. Everywhere nice. streams, and if you want to see, if you want to watch it, go to our YouTube channel, Under Oath with Jeff Kaufman. But That's we just dope. shot our, I think it was our forty third show. Congratulations, and, bro! What's up, you man? Know, you yeah. guys inspire me, man, because I realize I've done more of these shows than I've done my own show. That's right. I mean, that that's seems, right, that man. Seems so insane to me, but you guys, you guys, been killing it for so many years, man. I mean, I tell everybody when they talk about doing stand up, I said, well, listen, if it wasn't for these guys, I never would even tried. I'm mm -hmm. glad you did it too it. again because no. I know you did it before, but I'm glad you did it again, man. Yeah, it's a different too. world now because I got to be, you know, being funny at this age is is hard. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like because we're a little more conscious too. Like we won't. We, yeah. I don't. I, I if I were, to, let's say I was starting stand up right now. After mm -hmm. and I've been only been stand up for like ten years or so, but let's say I started it right now. I'd be even way more conscious than I was before, and I don't mean funnier. I just mean conscious of I don't want to look dumb. That was your fear. Yeah. You know, I don't want to yeah. look dumb. I, 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 yeah. you I don't care about older, looking dumb. Yeah. It, yeah. Because I don't think these younger comics even care. I That's exactly it. What I was, some the of younger... them aren't even funny, and they're like, well, mm. they paid attention. Yeah. They don't even care that they got. They were like, well, uh, did you think that? Uh. Oh, dude, I've done shows. They'd be like, man, that show was great. I was like, I was at that show. I will what, tell you this. What was we? What? Can, yeah. What great. was you? Great. They, you they were great? paying attention. I like that. That was. I tell you all the time when you when somebody says, "Man, that was a fun show." Oh, they bombed. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's always my thought mm. process. When somebody posts went to the thing last night, such a fun show. Yeah, you bombed. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I love when when it's just a gaggle of people who aren't funny communicating with each other about how good the show was last night, mm. and I'm like, this. It's like a bunch of drunks talking about talking about man. Yeah, we man, fell man, down man. a lot yesterday, yeah, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Me and Ken had a Ken had an experience where I I he saw that I, I was I had a comic, I'm not gonna say any names, and he was like, Are you booking this comic? And I, I said, No, 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 this is something else. And he was like, All right, and I go, because I think this comic is horrible. And Ken sent me back horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but I was talking to this comic about another thing that was going on. But as I talked to this comic, this comic's view of themselves was not that they were horrible. No. This comic's view of not. themselves was that they were killing it and even named people that I know would not tell me they were killing it. And they were like, so-and-so mm. has seen me before, and so-and-so. And I was like, you think if I hollered at them, what would they say about you? They were like, oh, well, just they sent me some links. They were like, watch this. And I watched uh. it, and it was horrible. And I was like, damn. Mm. Like, I wish I had that kind of like delusion when I looked in the mirror. Like, I wish I could be like, this body is fire. Like, you know? Mm, look <laughs> like, at me. Hey, hey, you know that Instagram thing where you cover your face? Like, what's a celebrity you look like? And you give me Denzel? Yeah. Like, yeah. Miguel, Miguel don't look like no damn Denzel. <laughs> be in the mirror like, yeah. 
A little bit. I can see it. I can see it. I see that. A little Denzel, maybe a little Arnold back in the day. You, I don't know. When we, did, when we did the Bloodhound Brewery, so this dude walks up behind me and goes, I'm going on. I go, I do this a private show. He goes, No, no, I'm going on. They're gonna let me on. I'm funny. And he actually tried to get on. And uh when we did it, oh sorry, when we did yeah, the blood we helper, doing, oh man, yeah. I didn't even know this, this dude. This dude snuck in right and he thought he was getting on. And uh the host, what's his name? Eddie. Eddie 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 grabs this guy and goes, uh, no, we're not doing that. And I was like, going, I was going, how does somebody just think they can just take the stage? Remember, hey, hey. I remember when we did. Remember when we did Natty's uh, uh, seafood sure place? Yo, sure James, do. me and James are doing this seafood boil show. Which the food, God, the food was amazing. It was a good rowdy show, but what? people are just because it's like a hood show. People are like, "Hey, hey, it's me and James. We're just co-headlining the show, right?" Mm -hmm. And people are standing there like, "Hey, man, I want, I want to go up. I want to try this." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> like, what so what happened was at the end when the show was done, me and James are hanging out. People start randomly going up to do comedy. Yep. The show's done. <laughs> and yep. they're just getting up there and we're just eating our seafood. Like, well, mm -hmm. got my money. Got, got my yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> this seafood is delicious, by the way. Yeah. Got my money, man. Oh, we were talking about something in the break, man. Um, James is talking about um James cry a lot now. I cry. James, you cry James about said, what? Bro. James said he bro. know he's getting older because stuff make him cry. James, I'm like that now with, with movies. I That's what I'm talking about. And my wife be like, you're good. I'm like, you're good. <laughs> and I'm not even ashamed. I'm like, man, I'm crying man, right I'm, now. I'm this straight. Good. This my voice just me. cracks and I'm just like, the thing is, man, I mean, Air Bud, he ain't never get a chance to say if he wanted to play the game. They just say, you play the baseball game. How do you know he want to play baseball? They Bro. knew he was allergic to bees. Yeah. yeah they knew. Ah, Thomas J, you had to go get that ring. You weren't even going to get any steak. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so uh, funny. So oh, funny. man. Hey, what's, a go -to, what's a go-to, James, that you know is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to tear you up? You know it. Two movies. Two movies. Yeah. Color Purple. Yeah. Steel Magnolias. Steel yeah. Magnolias is fire. Bro, I don't know why they remade it. I don't know why they tried to remake it. You know why. I get it, but you I know, know why. why. You I know why. Because they Steel Magnolias spelled S-T-E-A-L. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, Funny. But a fire movie, though. Like, it's absolutely an amazing movie. Bro, yeah. I think the last movie that got me, and it's, I, yo, man, call me out if you want to. Man, when Iron Man died. No, Dog. I'm not gonna call you out, bro. That one was, and I'm, I don't know if I'm quoting it correctly, but what is like, I don't, what is it? I don't feel good, Mr. Stark, or whatever. With, with yes. oh, Spider Man, yeah. I was like, oh, be, cool, yeah. be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. I was like, be cool, 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 quivering lip. I was like, be cool, be cool. Yeah, I just walk out of the theater. I'm not crying, you're crying. Storm out. <laughs> Bro, yeah, oh. I'm gonna tell you right now. I cried three different times during the Wakanda Forever movie. Oh yeah, yeah. That, I just three saw it. I just saw it times, Sunday. Um, I had to wear all Woo! white. I don't know what it is. The black people all white. I, I don't Bro. know. We, That's we how black people let you know they're doing well. Yeah. <laughs> we, so, and we had, and they they running out two theaters for my my wife's sorority, and then wow. um Tuesday night. Well, last night. Um, I'm I take I'm taking the girls to see it because you know yeah. I we I went with her sorority to see it, it was like a listening uh, um let me leave in Ken you I got won't... teared up too when Optimus Prime died right because I oh, did come on Bro. Transformers in come the cartoon on, you know I hate Hot Rod to Hot Rod to this day yeah. he's the reason yeah see, I don't even like red cars yeah I a red car I'm like man if I had a gun I would <laughs> 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 to this day son I hate Rod well Rodimus Prime Rodimus Prime, Prime. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I'll tell you a scene. Dog. I'll tell you a scene in the movie that gets me teared up, and you guys are gonna laugh. Terminator 2 at the end when the Terminator's like, I have to terminate, and he's going down into like the, 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 the yeah, and he's like, I know now why you cry. It's something I could never do. And he's like, I order you not to terminate. I order you. And I'm like, just listen to him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I was a little kid. I'm like tearing yeah, up until this bro, day. I, I'm gonna give you the universal one that all black people cry at. When Ricky died in Boys, oh in yeah, Ricky the slowest running back in the history yeah. of he outrun yeah. a sawed-off shotgun fifty when yards away. Go, 
Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. I cried out. Every single thing Trey wore in that movie. Cooper Good Jr. look whack. <laughs> How you look all whack in that movie? Dude, uh, hell yeah. My kids, we are up. The beginning of up. Uh, and and uh, Big when Hero they go 6. The, when they go through the timeline of her. Yeah, and him, but, and, yeah, yeah. And Big uh, Hero 6. Even to this. Because it's like me and my kids' favorite movie to watch together. Big what's Hero that kid? Bongo or Boingo? In, yeah, in, yeah, in the yeah, feelings yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. What's the one with the feelings? Uh, <laughs> oh, I, you don't talk about. Bay, Bay, yeah, Baymax. Bay, no, no, I'm talking about the one with the feelings, the one where it's like inside, is, is, oh, inside, inside, out. inside, inside whatever. Out. Yeah, there's that little no. bongo boingo or whatever, the imaginary creature that the girl made. <laughs> yeah. and he sacrifices himself. And I'm like, <laughs> she never deserved you. We got to get up out of here, man. James, where you at this weekend, bro? Man, I'm going to go see Jay Farrow, man. I'm actually shooting my, I shot my special already. I should say that because we, you know, record out of time. So I shot my special. Shout out to Ron Feingold. Shout out to McCurdy's for letting me be there, man. So I'm feeling good. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, where you at this weekend, uh, Miguel? Daytona Beach. I'm hosting the Electric Rodeo with Mike Busey. So we've had a we've had a, a, a mechanical bull bounce house company for a while, and we just decided to brand it. So now it's the Electric Rodeo, and it's being at uh, Coyote Ugly in Daytona Beach. So I'm hosting the Electric Rodeo Bikini nice. Bull Riding Contest at Coyote Ugly. Cool, cool. Jeff, you got anything going on this weekend, brother? Yeah, I've got the um, sponsoring bike night at uh, the Buzzards Roost in Deltona. So I'll be out there with a bunch of hairy dudes, which is good. You know, little biker. I should, so that's going to be fun. And I might join you guys Friday night just for the hell of it. Come on out, man. Come on out, yeah. man. If you're listening to this right now, I'm at Tampa Improv for the semifinals for Florida's Funniest. So hopefully Salute. some Orlando good dudes come through. Friday night, I'm going to be hanging out with the real ass crew, man. Go stop by and see um, Jay Farrow. Uh, he will be two shows Friday, one show Saturday. And then I got a private gig in Melbourne Saturday, and I'm going to try to sneak back for Classic Weekend. If you, uh, Any of our listeners, man, if you're going to Classic Weekend, man, be safe. Um, mm -hmm. We had that shooting over at Jones High School, man. Just, yo, man, be safe, man. Leave your guns at home, man. It's, it's Classic is always a great family weekend. I go all the time. I, since I've been here and been with my wife, I've probably been like eight times. Always, I would never go to the game. Just go to eat. Just all the food yeah. vendors, just food. yeah, fish, yeah. fish, chicken. Stay fish, away chicken. from it. You got the heart problem, man. Now, nah, man, Saturday gonna be my cheat day. So Your I life's been get... a cheat day. <laughs> oh, life been a cheat True. day, <laughs> man. We gotta True. get up out of here, man. That's James John. That's Jeff Kaufman from the law office of Kaufman and Lynn and Miguel Colon Jr. I'm Ken Miller. Thank God for listening and take your ass to bed. Huh.